It was just great, you know, great fun, and we were just on a trajectory, really. And yeah, looking back, I, we never thought 40 years on we'd be still playing music, let alone, you know, or even being alive, actually. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, but not only that, I mean, Dave, I think a lot of people wouldn't have thought punk would have lasted that no, long at the time. I, I think it's uh, credit to the songs. I think the songs still work well. And uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we took Reeve, really, that was a, the rut, so it was a three year, very quick traje trajectory. And uh, it was all over after three years. Malcolm had died and we went our separate ways, but we, Segs and I reformed it uh, about 2011. And we've been going, and we do new music too, which is great. So, because we've had a bit of success with that, we're really ha happy with our heritage. And we're so it's very really exciting doing the first album because some of the songs we haven't played since then. So, yeah, it's tough actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, you mentioned the three years there because I'm looking back at the history then because yeah. you seem like a band that were around for longer. Three years is yeah, not that uh, long. What do you think it was about that? That because a lot of bands in the last three years not being talked about 40 years later. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I think the songs, uh, they're still, you know, listen to your news live, because we are live, uh, you know, a lot of the songs are still very poignant to, today, and I think that's why we're doing it really as well. People said to us, look, those songs still need to be heard, so we're doing it, you know. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I know you're not doing the roles, but you obviously still have all the energy to, to put into these songs. You, you, you still feel like you, you did, did in those days. Yeah, I, I think yeah, yeah, we've got to do it as good as that, you know, but obviously physically it's not quite the same, so <laughs> we're in training, aren't we? We're in training, but it's coming together very, very well. Like yeah, it's say. good. It's, it's quite frightening, well. actually, when you listen to, you know, you listen to yourself playing, doing these things, and you go, oh my God, that's amazing <laughs> that but, you can still do it. Yeah, I think it's, it's just, a, as I said before, though, it's a credit to the songs, because they work sort of acoustically as well, and, as a, and I think the lyrical content's important. And, and amazingly, you've been going again longer than you were first time round. Yeah. How is it without Malcolm o and John Fox, those two key people in, in the early days of the band? Uh, it's difficult without uh, Paul Fox actually. But uh, sorry to correct I, I you. Said, but, uh, I said John, didn't I? Yeah, Paul yeah, Fox, that's me. Of course, yeah. Um, but it, it's all good. Um, <clears throat> it, uh, yeah, they, they're with us all the time. They're like, I always say, they're like that. You can't really play those songs in rehearsal or on stage without them kind of being there on each shoulder. Um, so it's a tribute to them, really, a kind of respective look to the past, but feeding the future, really. Well, well we're very fortunate in that we got, I mean, we lost Malcolm in 1980, you know, so he remains uh, 27 forever. Paul Fox died in 2007. Um, we did do one show with him in, uh, just before he died, uh, and that was a real success. And we're very fortunate to have, we're a trio now, but we found a guitarist called Lee Hegarty. He's not with us today. But uh, he's with us. But he's actually, he's, he's not <laughs> he's here. Yeah. But he's been very lucky for him because he he's he was a bit of a super fan. He knows the stuff inside out, and he's got and we, and we write stuff together with him, and it's 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 good. It's, it's you know it's good. And we're we're the original thing, so we we know what it should be. Because when we reformed, we did toy with the idea of having other people, and that. but we did try a few other people, but they didn't quite get what it was. So we decided to keep it in house, so to speak. Yeah, definitely. Yes, you were associated with an awful lot of big acts that you know many people will recognise today. It must have been tempting to sort of work in that way, but you you know <coughs> you you've obviously influenced an awful lot of people along the way. Uh, do, do, do you find that sort of funny hearing from those acts? Very strange. Yeah, um, um, I don't always own up, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think uh, yeah because again we didn't think we'd do. You never think of that at the time, or even now you just think of it, and then someone says, you know why we started because of you or something like that, and you go, well, that's that's amazing, you know as well. Good yeah. luck to them, though. Yeah, that's good. That's that, that's what happened to us. We were inspired by our peers, and uh, and con continue to go. Yeah. And what inspires you now to write new material? Uh, well, the, the state of the world, a bit. Um, the uh, just g generally music like I listened to from the past, and young bands as well. Bands like the Slaves and Idols and stuff like that. It makes you want to continue, and yeah, that's good. And do you feel like the present? political uncertainty, let's say, uh, it lends itself to a, a punk response. I do. I, th I, th I think that there's, there's plenty to write about. There's plenty to write about. And please don't go to sleep out there, people. <laughs>